Today, we're in North Lanarkshire and we're going to look at how a show-stopping image can be the one thing that stops people from scrolling or who scroll on by. Now, this is an independent artist and it kind of does what she says on the tin, she paints pylons. And she is so super passionate about what she does. And that really shows across all of her Instagram and all the different things that she does. And she really shows, um, I guess, the behind the scenes of her with here, you know, like, so she's three years sober and she's celebrating it with a sale. And um, she shows all of her art in situ. She talks about her family. She just, you know, she really shows, you know, that everything, I guess, is part of this. Now, um, here, um, we look at um, this print here. Now, this is her celebrating a brand new print. Um, she's got that Friday feeling, um, my happy place. Um, it's a beautiful, magnificent, marvellous, majestic pylon. I think um, it's like a big stained glass window, a church of a pylon, if you like. Now it's in the shop, um, pylon and industrial section, link in the bio. So she's saying, this is what it is. She's showing all of the passion that she has for the amazing art that she creates. And then um, she then shows you what the print looks like in situ within um, one type of frame and indeed in another type of frame. Um, and so she's telling you that you can go purchase it here. So the show-stopping image is the one thing that everyone is going to stop at. Instagram is a visual platform. As you can see, obviously she does lots of different types of things, but here the, um, the one thing that sets I guess, you know, the whole Instagram account apart is, you know, the colour, it's the perspective. And funnily enough, that's exactly what people have said here. So then you obviously scroll along and don't get me wrong, these images look wonderful because you can really understand, you know, the kind of size and the scale of the um, of the art itself and what it looked like on the wall, which is great. If it was just this, you might not stop in school, you know, it might not stop schooling, as in you might, you know, carry on through Instagram and go, yeah, quite like that, but you might not stop and genuinely take in what it is you're seeing. Whereas the close-up and really focusing in on the detail um, is what makes you stop and look and think, wow, and capture, catches your attention or catches your eye. Then it moves into the detail. So this is, you know, um, the artist really going to town and explaining just how much they absolutely love um, love their art and love doing this and what it means to them. And that is infectious. So you have the image that stops you from, you know, moving on past and captures your attention. Then you've got the caption that really sort of draws you in and helps you understand. And then you see the um, the actual paintings that you can, and the prints that you can purchase. And then she tells you that you can go to the link in the bio. And as you can see, people have really connected with it, which is amazing. And, um, and people have, you know, like they've been asking little questions and they've been seeing what's going on. And it is, it's really, really lovely. So from my perspective, um, any business can do something like this. It's all about creating a show-stopping image, whether it's a food, whether it's a, you know your hair salon, whether it's nails, it doesn't matter what it is, but make sure that the image stops people from moving on past. So it's a bit like you know your shop window. You want your shop window to look amazing so that people stop and want to look in it. This is your virtual shop window, so make it look good. And then make sure that then the devil's in the detail, make sure that the detail in your caption matches the image as well. Now, um, Paints Pylons does amazing stuff on social media. So if I was you and I um, lived in and lived maybe in the local area, or indeed I'm an artist from a completely different place um, in the UK, I would want to have a look um, and see if I could get some inspiration um, for what they do. Or indeed, it might be that you look at some of their incredible art and think, "Wow, I'd love to share this. I'd love to, you know, support this artist. I'd love some of, the, you know, some of it as well." Um, then what I would be doing is I would make sure that I follow them on um, that. Sorry, that I have their content schedule um, up on my media account. So you just go into content, you go into content calendar, and then here's all of this would be all of your content here, and then this would be paints pylons below. And you can even choose to go in and see their ads if you particularly want to. If they actually run any ads, if they don't, then that'll be blank. But it means that you can get a real bird's eye view um, and get some true inspiration on you know, on what it is they do. And it might mean that you even want to choose to go in and say, tell you what, I love this post. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to turn it into a post of my own. And I'm going to celebrate this artist myself, which you can quite literally do all through the Maybe platform here. There we go there. And you just select your channel 
put down what you want, make sure that, um, that you've tagged in the Instagram handle and then you post, it's fantastic. Now, if you have any problems at all or any questions, please just click on the blue button, it connects you to us 24 seven, we love to help.